and then I had a meltdown. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, I have a boyfriend now, and yes, you might recognize him. <laughs> Good morning. It is like 7.30 right now. I'm just quickly taking Obi out for a walk. It's my birthday tomorrow. So my friend Grace is coming to pick me up. We're going to yoga with Grace and my friend Michaela. Then we're gonna have some brunch and uh, then we're gonna head up for a lake day. Um, and then in the evening, my boyfriend and I are going to, oh my God, I'm out of breath already. <sighs> my boyfriend and I are going out to dinner. So I thought it would be a fun day to like remember. So I'm gonna film it. <laughs> Look at this guy. So so we did our yoga class at my favorite yoga place. It was not too, too hard, which was kind of nice. I didn't want to be sweating my ass off before having a relaxing day. Uh, the girls were looking hot and sexy as always. Um, then we had a little quick brunch, nothing too heavy. I had my birthday balls and uh, Grace was deeply disappointed in her melted food, as you can tell. Not great. <laughs> So this specific cafe turned me on to matcha, which is crazy, but we had an oat vanilla matcha, which was delicious. Little girl was selling, selling flowers outside, which was so cute. Um, and then we were off. All right, we got paddleboard. We have Grace. Hey! We got coffee, also oh, matchas. Matcha. And good vibes. Hello! <laughs> We just made it. We got parking, which is great. We thought it might be too busy to not find any parking. Now we go down to the beach. <laughs> Carrying the weight of the world on my back. I feel like I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> oh my God, the Canadian beach. We love her. <laughs> I have a pump. Do you? Yeah, it's with my uh, paddleboard. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Well, I can't see that. I just see your massive arms and chest and mustache. There's Michaela. Say hi. hi. You're excited? I'm excited. Jesus is doing the hard work right now. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> oh, your dogs ruined this shot, Riley. And after successfully punishing Riley and his dogs, we took the paddle boards out for a little paddle paddle. Uh, we did fall in the water, which was actually lovely. It was so hot, the water was freezing. It was perfect. We then sat around and chit chatted and just hung out. Uh, we did have a competition to try to get grapes in each other's mouth. Uh, Grace was not graceful, but she did try her hardest and eventually just took matters into her own hands, which you know, you have to do sometimes. It's Riley versus Ethan. How's the game going? 8-6 me. Oh. It's gonna be a quick game. Cause Riley's gonna kick your ass? <sighs> I was absolutely a sore loser, but it felt better that Riley did demolish everybody. So that helped. Uh, I, I kind of won cause he won and I'm I, I'm his prize, right? The judges were just like so imposing. What's this what's going on here? Oh, it's just us leaving. Wow. <laughs> you never look happy in my videos. I just never look happy. <laughs> don't think I'm personally. I look like an egg. <laughs> There's the guy. Don't look at me while I do this. Yes, this is me being embarrassed about filming in public, but uh, I didn't really film anything. We got home, had showers, and got dressed, ready, dropped Obi off with a dog sitter, and then headed out for dinner. <laughs> you I didn't film anything else. But uh, Riley's now taking me to dinner, so here we go. <laughs> Good morning. 
it is the day of my birthday. Yesterday, I didn't end up feeling a ton because I got heat exhausted. <laughs> we were outside in the heat for a number of hours, um, which was really fun. Had a, a blast, did a lot of paddling. Essentially just came home, dropped Obi off, rushed into the shower, got ready and went out to a very, very lovely dinner. Um, it was so good, but during the dinner, I was feeling like nauseous and hot and I had a headache and I was like, oh my God, I can't even fully enjoy this right now. Yeah, and so this morning I am, we're starting with just like laying in bed and uh, gonna have breakfast in bed and then see where the day takes us. It's nothing crazy. We're gonna do like a ton of plans and have a bunch of things to do today. But honestly, having nothing really planned is really nice, um, especially leading up to going to New York in two days. It's, it is needed. It, this like chill time is very much needed. Delicious. Thank you. It is already so hot. Don't clip that. Um, I got dressed. Don't look at my toes. Cat, shush. We're gonna go quickly take a birthday photo and then promptly come back inside and try to cool down. So, at this point is love, gotta go. Got myself a birthday Starbucks and a birthday air conditioner. <laughs> I've been having to do sinus rinses every single day, twice a day, and I missed yesterday. And I hadn't really noticed or thought about how much it actually helped until I missed a day. I missed one day and I felt awful. Just the congestion in my face I felt a lot. Chronic sinusitis, y'all, that's what that is. So if you feel like you get headaches a lot or like congestion up here, you might have chronic sinusitis, which I'm sorry if you do, because this thing is awful. And when, I'll insert a clip. It's not enjoyable to watch. I might throw up. You can do it. I might. <laughs> I might vomit. Like, it's I'm okay. actually. It's okay. There are tears in my eyes. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Good job. <laughs> I'm glad I feel better so that when I go to New York in two days with my mom, it's not going to be like hell every day. I just need to make sure that I pack this, which I'm realizing there's a chance I forget it, which would suck. Fan. Fan. New air conditioner. Old air conditioner. We're set up for the 35 degree heat we're supposed to have today. Woo! I'm now heading to go from the dog sitter. Um, I actually miss him so much. It's been one night. I don't know how I'm going to manage in New York. Uh. So I originally had Obi boarded because I wanted to do a test run before New York because this is a new family taking care of them. They did so well. Um, struggled with sleep, apparently, which makes sense. He's not used to the place. Bless you. Um, but yeah, he did well, apparently. So that's good. He's getting dropped off again tomorrow, which then he'll be gone for like a week, week and a bit. Um, yeah, it's weird not having him around. It makes me feel so strange. So... I'm glad that I get to hold on to him tonight, cuddle him, give him some love. But yeah. After picking up some final things for my trip, I packed for my New York trip and then I had a meltdown. <laughs> I was feeling really overwhelmed and stressed about packing. And during the process of packing, I decided to unload the litter box and it's built right there on the ground, which sucked. But hey, I regulated, I managed and I got through it. Look at this happy guy. Yesterday, I honestly was pretty overwhelmed. It was a combination of things of being that I'm going to New York tomorrow morning. And today I have back to back to back to back calls and then a training session with not a lot of time to like decompress from a really exciting jam packed weekend. The second thing being that I'm having a hard time with the age of 25. For me, 25 was kind of this hallmark age that I was 
imagining I would reach and have hit the main pillars of life by then, which was marriage and kids. In high school, I genuinely used to say that, yeah, by 25, I'd like to be married and probably starting to have kids. Nope, I'm not married. I'm certainly not having kids. And part of me was like, oh man, am I behind on my life goals? But, you know, after reflecting and stuff, I'm not. I'm not behind on my life goals. It's that my life goals have shifted and changed. I don't even know if I want kids anymore. I think marriage means something different to me now. Oh yeah, yes, I have a boyfriend now. And yes, you might recognize him. <laughs> Riley and I dated last year and broke up in January and we're apart for a couple of months. Um, and then we decided to get back together. It was really a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I don't need to share all the intimate details because they're, they're intimate. <laughs> but just know that I'm really happy. Really, really happy. Um, I felt so loved and supported this whole weekend by my friends and my family and Riley and yeah. Really nice, just really nice weekend. Slightly overwhelmed by the end of it, but God, I'm going to New York tomorrow. So fucking excited. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and thank you for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. And I love you so much. Bye.